So here we have our molecular beam epitaxy system. And we have two students, Surgeon and Phil Tabor, who actually works with uh, Sergey Yurazdin, my colleague in physics. And they are working on this uh, machine. You can see it's very shiny, lots of stainless steel. It's all in an ultra high vacuum environment, which allows us to grow all kinds of different materials. We have a chamber dedicated to bismuth selenide, a chamber dedicated to the growth of uh, complex oxide materials, semiconductors, and as you go around over here, we have our distribution chamber, our low buck chamber, which allows us to mount samples without uh, breaking the vacuum in the system. We have a, a scanning probe microscope. You can see the stage in here. Allows us to get um, atomic resolution images of surfaces. We have other spectroscopy tools. Here's the distribution chamber that allows us to put samples in, in one chamber and move it to another chamber. And here is the system where we grow our uh, ferromagnetic and antiferromagnetic materials in an ultra-high vacuum environment. We have other nice features. For example, we have a, um, a fume hood to clean samples. And we have other kinds of spectrometers and analytical tools and electronics. So this is the molecular beam system. Epitaxy system uh, in the, my lab at West Virginia University.